Today I'm working on uh, making the arch above the window, above this uh, little dormer window you see behind me, and uh, the east door where I plan to make a door and a window eventually. Believe me, this is just one guy's way. We all know a gentle curve can be quite attractive, uh, especially around the house. Uh, but how to get one? It's the age-old problem. So I'll tell you how I have figured out, for me, uh, a way to make a segmented arch. When I cast the arches in this wall, I basically left them with a trapezoidal shape above, and then afterwards I went through and filled in all the pieces and made it a smooth arch. I'm getting ready to do something I've never done before. I usually draw most everything out in pretty good detail. And then I start cutting pieces and seeing how it goes together. I chose to make the pieces eight inches long, which makes the angle 2.5 degrees. Our accuracy on a saw like this is probably within a half degree, so that's much more than we need. To cut these pieces, uh, you want to flip the board every time you make a cut, like this. And then the angles will always be correct for your segment. Your segment you want a trapezoid. Flip, and then I mark the saw at 8 inches. With such a small angle, it's really hard to tell which way the board is cut. By flipping the board each time, you ensure that the orientation of the angle cut is the way you need it for a segmented arch. So I'm going to plunge cut each one of these pieces uh, to put a biscuit in there with some glue. And uh, since the plunge cutter can only do an obtuse angle, not an acute angle, we turn them upside down so that their trapezoid point points up. And we set it to the same uh, angle so that the plunge cut is perpendicular to the joint. When you see that something's not right, it's usually easier to redo it than to work around it forever. And good curves are hard to come by. So I'm using a little bit of liquid nails and a biscuit joint in each one of these. And uh, you know, I've done several of these kind of openings. And this is the first time I've ever used the OSB for a guide, but it's handy to have something to, to make sure each one is flush. And we just work our way around the curve. And putting these pieces together, it helps to have a little tap of the hammer. And that, you really tap hard against what you've already got in place. And then once you get it in there, of course this has to be the one that looks terrible. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Come on, oh, oh. So, you can see the glue's coming out pretty good there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is there birds? <laughs> Plenty of lubricating glue on my biscuit. I can just slide it right in. All right. Quick, I got a screw. I've cut this board three times, and it's still too short. So, as you can see, it is uh, getting close to quitting time at Lars Erickson's large construction project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.